and the weather picks up and the ship starts surging, we have a problem. The force applied by the ship increases, sometimes even exceeding the braking load of the ropes leading to one of them snapping. Up on deck, the force from the braking line whips it across the ship, striking a crew member who sadly doesn't survive the injury. Although this is a fictional scenario, the story is all too familiar to those who work on ships, so why do massive ships still use ropes? And given that they do, what can be done to keep the crew safe and is there an alternative? When ships come into port, they need to stay alongside the quay to be able to load or unload cargo, take on stores and fuel, and allow the crew to get ashore. It's been the same for thousands of years, and in that time, the solution hasn't really changed much. You simply tie a ship alongside using mooring ropes. Obviously, ships nowadays are somewhat larger than ships from years gone by, but rope technology has also improved to such an extent that smaller ships can still be secured by only one or two ropes. The minimum is obviously one line forwards and another line aft, at less than 45 degrees to the ship, so that each line both keeps the ship alongside and stops it from moving forwards or backwards. Remember, of course, that a ship tighter alongside won't move forwards and backwards anyway due to friction between the ship and the key, so the priority when using only two lines is just to keep it alongside. To increase the security of the mooring, you'd come up to what's known as one and one fore and aft. This means one headline or stern line at each end, plus one spring line. The headline and stern line keep the ship tight into the berth, and the spring lines act to stop it from moving forwards and backwards. As the ship size increases, it's a simple case of adding more and more lines until you get to the typical arrangement used on the larger ships, six and two, four and aft. Usually, this will be two headlines leading around 45 degrees on the bow, two breast lines at almost right angles, two lines between those, and two spring lines with the same sort of arrangement at the other end. 